What's up guys? Just thought I'd do a quick vid because um, I was genuinely surprised with how, how well this went the other day. So the other day I did a video of uh, Rafchar cover by Maiden uh, featuring White Lightning. Um, it's been a few months since the mods were put in. Um, the pickups I've retwigged, retwigged the bridge uh, and you know just messed around with it to get it sounding pretty good. And I was genuinely surprised at how well it, uh, it performed and the tones that it got. Um, obviously, I put the Seymour Duncan pickups in, uh, the JB Jr. in the bridge, and the hot rails in the neck. Um, I was always aiming for a sort of maidenly tone, but I wasn't expecting quite the uh, level of maidenness that came out of it. Um, and listening back to the the video of the Rathchild cover, um, it it really surprised me of how much of sort of Yannick's tone I got out of this. But also, I'm going to show today just the sort of depth of tone that I can get from both pickups uh, because obviously um, Dave Murray uses hot rails and Yannick uses the JB Juniors. Um, so I'll just go through a few sort of maiden riffs in the style of Yannick in the style of Dave. Um, and yeah, just showing it off basically. So I'll start with the Rapchild riff again. Um, riff again, sorry. <laughs> Now, if you go and watch uh, Flight 666, there's a bit where they're sound checking, I think, in Mumbai, uh, and they're sound checking Rathchild, and you hear Yannick playing his little solo -y bit and then doing the riff. Minus the delay that I don't have, um, or the reverb, that sounds incredibly similar to what Yannick's, you know, sort of sounding in. Which is great, you know, I've got the Les Paul that I can make now virtually sound close to Adrian's, um, but this sort of Yannick tone is quite quite impressive um i'm going to try and do a bit of the riff that he does uh from two minutes to midnight on the rock in rio album because he starts that one um with bruce you know saying and yannick gears comes to rio again it sounds very very similar you know but uh I use Yannick's sort of way of playing and tones a lot based off of the Rock in Rio sound. Uh, so the next riff is going into the solo from Blood Brothers, um, which Yannick flips between the neck and the bridge pickup all the time. Uh, but again, this sounds, to my ears, fairly accurate anyway. <laughs> And then obviously he flips to the neck pickup for the solo, which uh, I'm not, I can't do the solo exactly like Jan. Uh, no one can, uh, but you know, it's again very similar sounds. You know? Still need to work on the intonation a wee bit. Uh, whoops, Daisy, let me just hit that. There we go. So yeah, Yannick tones are plenty with this with this setup, with the bridge pickup, you know, um, do a bit of, do a bit of the trooper. <laughs> And then uh, if we talk about the neck pickup, which is the hot rails, very Dave Murray-esque, bluesy, creamy sort of solos. Um, I do a little bit from, uh, it's I can't remember which part of the song, but it's from Sign of the Cross, again, from the Rock in Rio album. Um, it's just after the sort of breakdown. So it, I'll just play it, see what you sound like, you know. I'll start that again. So 
water. It's very sort of in between the two with Murray and Jan. You know, um, trying to think of another Murray riff that he plays in the neck, you know. Uh, ah, hello be thy name. Obviously, Dave uses the neck pickup for his sort of softer side and the solos. Um, but then saying that, Dave does use the bridge pickup as well. So let's try the sort of intro bit from his solo for the, from the truth. But, you know, the... Ooh, I'll try that again, sorry. <laughs> yeah, kind of, you know. Dave doing this solo, uh, not solo, but the twiddly bit from the Trooper. In the wrong key. Back to Yannick. But this thing really does clean up as well, like the, the softer tones. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep it on the distortion channel, but turn the volume pretty much all the way down. Um, for the sort of intro bit from Fear of the Dark, uh, which I discovered actually how Yannick gets his little bendy bit. So I'll, I'll try and stand with it close to the camera so you can see it. Um, uh, so let me just go through And then how does Yannick get that note? It's a it's a, a natural harmonic, but he pushes down up here. So I'll do the harmonic for you, which is uh, this sort of sound. I'll just increase the volume a bit. So that's the noise. And then what does Jan do? Ooh, find the note again. And so on, you know. Let's uh, do Fear of the Dark just at full volume. Bugging it up, but there we go. Uh, but you get the drift, you know. Um. quick tonal video there about the success story that is this i mean admittedly it's not the prettiest thing to look at you know uh, oh my straps are falling off but there we go so i mean yeah there's a there's a few <laughs> few holes here and there obviously that would be where the bar for the whammy bar would have gone um obviously when i did the bridge i just put a hardtail bridge on it um i'm really really pleased with this actually you know genuinely astounded at how well it turned out considering i took it apart and basically rebuilt it without the help of a luthier. And yeah, there's a few rough edges, as I said. We've got the hole by the bridge. There's a few holes in the back of the headstock there where the, the, the screws for the old tuning pegs were. These are locking tuners, by the way. Um, you know, I'm just gonna lose the strap and just hold it for now. Um, but yeah, these are locking tuners. I highly recommend putting them on pretty much any guitar, um, just because it's always good to keep everything in tune. Um, but yeah, I put, I've now got locking tuners on all of my guitars. So the, the Les Paul has it, the Court has it, and this has it. New uh, bone nut, uh, which I installed myself. 
obviously the biggest changes with the pickups uh, the original pickups I still have actually somewhere uh, with single coils new po uh, new volume pots new bridge but the biggest addition was the selector switch which this didn't have initially um, I don't know if you remember but it didn't have a selector switch you had just the two volume and a tone uh, for the pickups you had to manually turn each of them on and off whereas with this now I do have the option to flick between the two which is great you know uh, new input jack all new electronics went into this uh, obviously that's the cavity I still haven't got a new cavity plate for it um, obviously it still needs uh, just a tweak here and there um, one thing I do want to have done to it I do want to have uh, new frets put on this that's not something I'm going to do um, but yeah Total, total success story with Little White Lightning here. The reason why um, in the videos, and even now, you'll see me sort of still working and looking, is because it's a bit of an optical illusion. If I uh, compare this to oh, the cork here a second, so you have White Lightning, yeah? You have the cork. Put them together, what's the difference? I'll stand back a little bit. There you go. So there's the difference there. So the neck is a full length neck. The body is half the size of a normal guitar body, you know. So it's a bit of an optical illusion when you're sort of thinking your hands are somewhere when in actual fact you're miles away because, you know, it, it, <laughs> a smaller body does throw in its own conundrums. But very, very pleased with this. This will forever be a monument to lockdown boredom. The get out there, do it yourself. I highly recommend anybody get out there and try this sort of thing because you'll surprise yourself, you know, and that's the biggest thing here. Never in a million years thought that I'd be able to fully install and have working guitar pickups um, with a switch. The switch was never the original idea, to be fair. Um, you know, the nut, never thought I'd be able to do that because removing a nut is difficult enough uh, and putting a new one in is equally as difficult. But overall, a very good success story with little white lightning here. Hope you enjoyed that little video, guys. Um, I will do more covers with this. Um, probably maiden covers. Surprise, surprise there. Um, but yeah, who knows? You might see this in future videos and potentially performing live. Shh. Yeah, once lockdown's over, obviously. Take care, guys. Stay safe, stay happy, stay positive. Bye.